Blessings to you on this Wednesday now, after the Feast of Pentecost. Every Sunday morning at 9.30, a group gathers in this church in the chancel and prays the Holy Rosary. And then we also, in this time of quarantine, we do this every Sunday uh, through Zoom. And it is one of the most, it is one of the dearest meditations and devotions that we offer at the church. You cannot become too close to Mary, but because the closer we come to Mary, the closer we come to Jesus. She is always pointing to Jesus. So every church I've ever known that prayed the rosary um, has a certain blessing um, from God. And I believe this church is blessed mightily. What many people miss on Sundays is a, a painting at the rear of the church uh, depicting the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. In medieval years, the rosary was one way people who couldn't read learned the stories of the Bible. The rosary depicts 15 mysteries or stories of Jesus and Mary, 15 from scripture and two from tradition. There's the joyful set, there's the sorrowful, and then the glorious. And so each and every Sunday we choose um, looking at the, the events of the, the world and, um, and that which we are praying for, we choose a set of mysteries and we pray. We pray God's Holy Spirit and love to come upon us. So this painting is, uh, has become a very dear painting to this rosary group. And I had hold in my hand today a beautiful old rosary owned by a mentor of mine who died in his late 90s. And it's put together with strings, it's broken, it's missing some beads. But this is the rosary I use every week in memory of him and in thanksgiving um, for the gift and the love of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The morning prayer begins on page 42 of our prayer book. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Let us pray together the Venite on page 44. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the world, and with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Alleluia, the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The psalm appointed today is a portion of Psalm 119, um, beginning on page 775 of the prayer book. Let us pray verses 145 through 152, page 775. I call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in you... For in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches, that I might meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. According to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And turning to page 50, let us pray together the Song of Mary. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, but he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He has showed strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts, he has put down the mighty from their seat, 
and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hoped in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. And the Apostles' Creed continues on page 53. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Continuing with suffrages A on page 55. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation, and do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Now a collect following the Feast of Pentecost. O God, who on the Feast of Pentecost didst teach the heart of thy faithful people by sending to them the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort. Through the merits of Christ Jesus, our Savior, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the same Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. I'd like to end today with a prayer that we pray at the end of every rosary that we pray at the church. A beautiful prayer, especially given the times in which we live. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, employed thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer me. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us forevermore. Amen.